Well, happy whatever day this is that you're joining us. This is Richard Rosen, Winnipeg's Friendliest Undertaker, uh, bringing to you another interview. And this is actually part two of an inter interview that we had started with um, Lisa Sinex, who is uh, the owner of the Seniors Moving Company. For those of you who've been watching over the years, the interviews uh, that we've done, uh, the purpose is really to share knowledge on a, on a, on a wide variety of topics. They've, they've covered uh, funeral topics from green burials, um, things about uh, when you're considering your estate and your estate plans for end of life planning uh, to consider your digital assets as well, because they are part of your estate. The estate is no longer just dishes and golf clubs. And this is uh, a new segment that we've launched over the last couple of months on successfully aging in place. Uh, the, the idea for aging in place really struck me a few years back when I, when I bought my story and a half house and I was looking up at the steep flight of stairs that, that go up to the second floor to the bedrooms and I thought, gee, how am I, I going to manage these stairs as I get older? And then thinking about some of the other aspects about getting older now that I'm in my mid-50s and what other things am I going to have to con con concern myself with as I get older? And so I decided it was time to start learning uh, about what it takes to be able to su successfully age in place so I can uh, overcome issues about safety and security and health um, and wellness so I can enjoy the best quality of life that I possibly can. I became an early member of an organization here in Winnipeg called Business as an Organization Supporting Seniors. And it allowed me to reach out to various people in the aging in place community, businesses and organizations that support older adults that help to maintain their best quality of life possible to support the older adults, but also it's, it's for family to feel comfortable and, and, and secure that their, their aging adults uh, or family members are safe and secure. And these interviews help share knowledge about aging in place, but it also gives you an opportunity to meet some of the folks from businesses and organizations supporting seniors. So if you're looking for a good audiologist, a financial planner, uh, some extra home care, uh, a pharmacist, an occupational therapist, or a moving company uh, that, that caters specific uh, to seniors, uh, these are to name a few. You can go to my website, you'll find uh, a boss page which gives a complete uh, list of the membership and the links to them. Uh, Boss doesn't have a, a website currently as of 2022, but we're working on it, but we do have a Facebook page. So with all that said, we're going to get into our interview. And as I said, uh, part of Boss is, uh, is a moving company. And uh, Lisa, thank you for joining us and uh, welcome to part two of our interview today. Good morning, Richard. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be here. We had interviewed ANO uh, support services for older adults not too long ago. And the topic was about hoarding and uh, the number of programs that ANO have to support family and individuals who have challenges with hoarding. And I was just wondering, is, is hoarding something that you are um, experiencing as well? Yes, we are. We definitely are. Um, most of the folks that come to us who are in um, full house situations or are collectors um, aren't phoning us themselves. Concerned family members or loved ones or neighbors or even possibly somebody in the community, um, uh, you know, who works with seniors is uh, making that phone call. And um, they're difficult. Those are really difficult situations, most certainly. Um, I would say that probably 80% of the folks that we come across that are full houses um, are that way, um, not by choice, but um, it's not just because they can't manage their home. They do bring things in. They do go to the thrift stores or the flea markets or online shopping is a really bad one that's kind of emerged over the last few years and Amazon, you know, um, it's, it's definitely difficult to, um, difficult to move them because of course they want to replicate their new space, but just the whole downsizing thing. And that's 
where, you know, when we have such a vast uh, list of resources is super helpful because, you know, we can say to people, we work with Scope and we work with Oyatitipi and we work with these other really great organizations who will take all of your kitchen appliances that are still in the box and all of that stuff and, and um, they'll benefit somebody else. So it's um, every, everyone is different, just like every one of our clients is different with their moves, but everybody with a, a full house and who collects things, it, it's really different. And again, that whole listening piece of figuring out and trying to figure out why it happens and how it happens um, are super important, but then maybe posing alternatives. Um, collectors are a different breed as well. You know, people who collect uh, turtles or people who collect certain kinds of glassware or whatever. And every time they see a piece, they have to have it to add to their collection. Um, you know, paring down collections is um, something that another strategy that we talk to folks about is like, let's take four or five and we'll leave some room to maybe have some new ones in your collection, but let's gift them, maybe distribute them to all of your grandchildren. They make great Christmas presents. We just pack them up and we send them off to your grandchildren saying, I'm gonna share my turtle collection with you because you know it's time. Um, kind of those are the more simple solutions and, and ways to go about um, assisting folks with um, full houses. But then there's the other percentage of folks who have real difficulty getting rid of things because it's a cognitive situation, because it's a, a mental health thing. And there's insecurity about letting things go. And those are the folks that need kind of more professional help. And we've certainly worked with um, a and O has such great resources there. Um, you know, worked with people who have a higher level of understanding about why it happens. We can certainly do all of the work to make it happen. Um, but then there's, you know, that 20% of people that, um, um, that have to have some clinical intervention. And whether it's actual stuff or whether it's just clutter, um, newspapers, magazines, you know, right down to not getting the garbage out you know, every couple of days. Yeah, yeah I, I know I, I had just interviewed um, a &O, um on, on the topic of, of, um, of hoarding and, and they've got a couple of programs, volunteer programs. Um, uh, one, is, um, one is this full house, uh, which, which kind of helps. Um, it, it's the first program uh, from what they've told me that's in Canada. It's to, it's to kind of help older adults with, um, with stuff that's really filled their lives to the limit, um, but it, it becomes a safety thing, you know, of, yeah. of it's, trip and it's fall a, issues and things. And, yeah, it's a fantastic program, yeah. fantastic program. And the folks who work there are just unbelievably understanding and um, um, not just understanding, but they're experts in their mm -hmm. field. Right. Um, yeah. I just really wish that there was, and, and you know, have had been considering advocating this is a great start because we need to have more government dollars helping these folks. We need to find a little pot of money to allow us to do what we do. A and O seniors moving. Um, we know how to do it, but if there are no resources there, we're not going to be able to um, address everybody that needs help. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the waiting lists are too long. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's it's a it doesn't stop, you know. It, it's uh, you know what I what I've learned has been that um, you know when you know a family can 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 successfully navigate with support from from A and O and others to be able to help their family member, but it doesn't stop just because the house has been cleaned out, you know, because now uncle's going to see oh look I got a space to fill it up again. Uh, Yep, definitely have to have some after after care and follow up. Yeah, most certainly. right. Yeah, and yeah. I think those are those are those key resources, and I think that's um, 
that's one of those things that ANO has as well is that 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 they they know that this doesn't stop that it, it's a continual and and to and it's education and awareness for everybody. Um, yeah. um, I I shared with them one story when I interviewed of, of walking into a, a family's house to do funeral arrangements and the, it was a lady who passed away now it's a husband and the place is just full of stuff and and I didn't of course this was years ago so I didn't really know of any of any of the organizations that we're now a part of, like especially the boss. But I was just gonna say that's one of the joys of being in the boss group. You know, if it's meals, then we call heart to home. And if it's um, you know, whatever, whatever we need, we usually, if it's not within our group, we're one step away from it. Exactly. You know, enabling yeah. access for for right. how you're doing in your home. And it's it's such a um important resource for folks in Winnipeg and surrounding areas to have the boss um, one-stop shopping. You know, I yeah. call our business one-stop shopping because it is, but boss is now an extension of, of that right. one-stop. And, and yeah, if we don't have somebody in our group, we know someone. And a and had said this when I, you know, when we were wrapping up our interview about hoarding and they said, you know, what people really need to know is that there are resources out there. We're here to help you and we have your back. And I think that's, you know, from, from what, uh, what you're doing with seniors moving and, and so many others that uh, are working more with the older adult community is, is it, that that's what this is, uh, that we have your back and that we're trying to be helpful. Um, even within the funeral industry, I'm, I'm here to try to do that too. So, uh, and it's important and you feel better. You feel much better when you know you've done a good job. Absolutely. And, you know, I say this when I do presentations as well as even if you need a point in the right direction, even if you're a few years down the road, but you have questions and you're thinking, well, how does this work? Or what would I do with this? Just call us. You know, I am happy to give advice for free. The, the knowledge that I've gained over the last 18, 20 years of resources in the city of how to do things, you know, people to talk to, people not to talk to you know, which is important as well. Um, just phone, you know, I'm happy to spend five or 10 minutes on the phone giving you a point in the right direction. And that could honestly kickstart, you know, your next year of downsizing or wrapping your head around your next move or um, just, I'm, I'm happy to do that. And, and that's one of the things that we do to keep ourselves with one foot in the social work world and client centered, you know, we're not just uh, uh, that company that that is all business. I want to be able to share what I know and what I've experienced and what I've learned um, with folks who can benefit from that knowledge. Why keep it all internal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's very true. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. Uh, this has been a this has been a, a I, I love interviews when when we 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 don't stick to to the plan. You know, we kind of wander. Did we do over. that today? Oh, we well, did. Yeah, we we did. No, we did. It was. Oh. I'm. Uh, so thank you. I. It's been a, a wonderful experience to get to know you better and to uh, to share what uh, what you're doing with Seniors Moving Company to make uh, to be to be that that strong advocate. Yeah, you have a parting comment. Well, yes, I was just gonna say use the china. Use the flatware, you yeah. know, do all of those things because um, if it brings you joy, then you should do it. And um, I think that uh, breaking those rules of breaking up patterns and breaking mm -hmm. up furniture sets and all of those things have to be something that we look at to the future of the new normal. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and we and can advise folks. Right. And, and if you can distribute even even though grand, the granddaughter might not be too enthused. Um, I, I have it on good authority that you really can't take it with you. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> folks try it, it just- That's right. Don't, it don't work, yeah. That's so, right. Uh, well, anyway, well, I have, thank you. I have two thank yous for you, Richard. Um, first one obviously is um, inviting me here to chat with you today, but the second one is your dedication to BOSS and doing the work that you do with BOSS because you kind of keep us all together and. Um, are one of the integral people that keep us moving down that path together. So um, I'm grateful for, for today, but I'm also grateful for your help with BOSS. Oh, oh, 
but I'm, I'm glad to help. It's fun. And we got good people around the table. Uh, with that, so thank you. And uh, to everybody, I, uh, we, we do appreciate the investment of the time that you've given for us here today. Uh, thank you very much. This is uh, Richard Rosen, Winnipeg's friendliest undertaker with Lisa from Seniors Moving Company signing off. Take care.